previously on Alien Isolation. I'm sorry, Ripley. What? You're gonna lock it, aren't you? You're gonna lock us in with it, aren't you? Asshole! We were right there. How can we breathe? On the other side, of course! It's still in the facility though, probably. She changed rather quickly. This woman has some great observation hockey and reflexes if she's able to grab one to it quickly. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Ripley, is that you? Yes, wait! Me, you son of a You locked me in! You blew the lab into space! I had no choice! No choice at all! You saw that thing, you saw what it could do! I had to get it off the station! By any means necessary! Yeah! Use me as bait! <laughs> I mean to die! No, I didn't watch One Piece. No anime talk. Alien talk. It goddamn worked, Ripley. It goddamn worked. I got that thing. Jettisoned it into the gas giant. The station's safe. There's that. And there's the fact that you're a heartless bastard. I'm heading back to the Bureau. We can discuss your methods there. Ripley, out. Hmm. I think I'm full. Yeah, we're full. Yeah, we're full. Yeah, we're full. Alright, we're full on ammo. And I think I can walk normally unless the damn alien wakes up. So what now? Same thing. Killing that bastard. If the thing's knocked off the spaceship, I hope there's no more aliens, but watch, someone else is gonna have like a face hugger on them or some crap. I don't think this will be the end for the alien. Feels weird being able to walk upright. Ion torch upgrade. Another upgrade? Excuse me! I'm getting sick of this crap! Another upgrade. More backtracking. F off. I am so done with this upgrading crap. Hopefully the rest of the game is just dealing with the humans. Flamethrower works on more than one species. Ripley, after years of spinal cord abuse, is Kuma's gameplay. Why, you want to stand up all day? I can't even build more things. They're out of my inventory, but... I can't even use the scraps, they're just giving me items. 
So they basically expected us to go through all our stuff to get this far. Luckily, I managed to just guard, uh, guard the elevator as I got out. What on earth were they closing inside there? Omega? What does that even mean? Hey, I remember this place. This is where we were early in the game. Is this Doom? Is this doom? Now game without aim. Baggage claim. Oh, this is, yeah, this is all the way at the beginning part of the game, I remember. There should be a save up there. I'm gonna take the save up there. I doubt there's going to be like ammo all over the place. Highly doubt it. I remember opening this up. Then we did the interviews. There was a guy. We got the wrench somewhere around here. My god, that was a lifetime ago. Yeah, we got the wrench in there. Yeah, I remember this. We got a blowtorch here or something. Damn, that was a while ago. And I had to chase... I, I was chased by the alien this entire time. This is ridiculous. My god, man. My god. Excuse me? I just heard a bleep. Game's name is Alien Isolation. It can't be that the other half is okay about humans, right? Clearly. <laughs> Clearly, this woman has a problem walking backwards. Why can this guy take so many bullets? Why can this guy take so many bullets? Shotgun bullets are precious. I heard headshots do more damage. Yeah, except the reticle and the aim doesn't work very well.
Let's see what we have down here. You know what? I got a flare, don't I? No items? Really? All I found down here was a flare? And a sensor. Well, at least I didn't waste my shotgun ammo. And got enough ammo for one human. I reckon if I run that way, I could blowtorch whatever that thing was, but it doesn't matter. I can take this, but I'm going to take a look at freight shipping. Store power, huh? Where now? Ripley! Ripley, it's Ricardo! You made it! No thanks to Waits. <sighs> He's a ruthless son of a <laughs> place has been. Stubborn too. If he'd ever listened to me, things would never have gotten this far. It's done now. I'm sorry for f***ing with the lockdown earlier. Forget it. You got me out in the end. I'll see you back at the Bureau. That is a swear I gotta edit out. Develop it. What are we going to put in this area? Other dev. Let's put a flare there. That should be enough. But we are over halfway of the game already. Other dev. It's fine. What are we? A charity? They put a flare there, but you need a flare in order to inspect the area. God, this is a different game when you're standing upright. You get claustrophobia because the floor is so freaking low. I love how I don't have a map of the area. Yoink. Door locked. Means it's gonna get unlocked at some point. I'm not in the mood, alien! Oh, it's just working, Joe's. Human? 
Diamonds works for me. open this but I need to <coughs> restore power or something come on someone will send help soon Okay, so they're not friendly. So, to open it... Is there something I can use? That's gonna be the real trick. Because there's nothing here to unlock anything. So how the heck do I unlock it? Today's subject, slavery. What? Boy, you're gonna enslave the aliens for manual labor and say they don't have rights because they're extraterrestrials? Jesus. You know, there was a guy, there's a meme basically, and it's like, why don't we get um, a bunch of, you know, grapists and predators and they have to, who are serving prison sentences, and they have to catch illegal aliens. And whoever wins, uh, either gets their prison sentence dropped, or they get a green card. And you can just call it Alien vs Predator. Well, that's happening. But I can't actually get through the door, so I'm a little bit lost. Can I get a little help? The creature has been trapped outside Sevastopol in the Jenison Project Labs. Find the rest of the team and confront Wes. Like, this doesn't open. What am I supposed to do? So, I'm, I'm basically stuck now. I don't know what to do. There's no button to open the door. Like, there's no button here. Don't let them get away. I can't use this cleaning droid or anything, so what am I supposed to do? Restore power to the security shutter. What? I have to physically touch the shutter and then it tells me to restore power. Maybe a terminal? There's no terminal. There are legit no terminals here. There's nothing on the walls. Nothing. There's just my save here. I mean, I like being part of streams, but the people texting is kind of underwhelming. I mean, people are eating food mostly, or just listening. Some people just listen to the thing. vent maybe it's closed you need power to go to the vent is there a vent on the floor somewhere Yeah, no. There's legit nothing. They did a runner. What the heck is going on? Yeah, no. It's like, restore power, but you restore power from the plant room. But that shutter's closed, so I'm a little bit like... Can I... 
Can I maybe weld the vent? Can I weld it? Door locked. Yeah, no. This part of the game is so counterintuitive. What the heck? Makes no sense. And if I go this way, I end up at the Splice Flight Terminal, which is the other spot. Which is different from this. So that's a bit weird. That's a bit weird. The fact that there's moments like this in the game where you have no idea what's going on. Ugh. I don't think I can enable power here. Yeah, no, I can't. Yeah, no. Yeah, this is the passenger lounge. This has nothing to do with the other area. So I don't think I can activate it from here. Unless something changed here, I've got nothing. And this place needs power as well, so no. Yeah, no. That's basically it. Apparently you should activate the nearby machine after they start shooting in your direction. Well, there is a little machine there, but I was next to it and nothing appeared. So there must be that proximity thing where if you're too close, you can't press the button. If you're too far away, you can't press the button. That is the weirdest thing. I'll be honest, I got a minus points from this game. Because I could be right next to the thing I need to activate and nothing will appear. I have to walk backwards a few steps. It's, it's so not good. This game has multiple issues. Shooting is one of them. The proximity to things that you interact with is the second one. Like, that must be the machine, but... He must be opening the thing. That makes sense. Thank you. But I was... I literally looked at that green thing multiple times and I couldn't activate it. It's a proximity issue. I am so annoyed by that. That annoys me about this game. I could be looking at it and I can't activate it. Because of proximity. That is effed. Like look. This one's working now. I'll, uh, next time you see it. No, we did it in the last section with the alien. I was like, I can't get in, I can't get in, I can't get in. My god. This game is a thing. version 2, huh? Sense I can't collect it. Hmm. Understand, I didn't see the issue a lot to be honest. And I got a, an ad player on me. An ad player? What does that mean? Oh, an ad. Oh, I get it. And I gotta go all the way around. Rip, I'm about to rain on the parade. Something's up with the androids. Something's been up with the damn androids since I got here. No, this is new. They've left their posts. I just saw some of them in a public area. That's not normal. Great. Watch your back. Double great. So now we're gonna take out the androids. This game just became a shooter. And let me guess, at the end of it, the alien comes back. But guess what? The alien doesn't care about the androids. Yay! So I'm gonna have aliens and androids on me. Can I get the predator? At least the predator kills the aliens. 
I miss the predator. Where's the predator when you need him? Kuma, you are the predator. Ah! I'm a very bad one. Oh, I can take the shortcut? Alright. So now, anything I would like to say now would be a slight hint spoiler, so I might as well say nothing. There you go. Don't say anything. Unless I'm asking for specific help or like, yeah. So I'm going to check out this area because I can go through there, but I want to check out the items here. There's no items here, is there? Nope. Then what's the point of this entire area? There is no point. Absolutely no point whatsoever. Is gameplay mechanic considered spoilers? Yes. Yes it is. Because it's a blind playthrough. The whole point is for me to figure it out. Not someone to tell me. Thank God for the flamethrower ammo. Because if I know about the mechanics, I could then abuse them. Normally I have to figure out the mechanic and abuse it. Why is there ketchup at a bar? I don't know when anyone will get this, but someone needs to keep a record, and I don't know. I came here a few months ago to write about the collapse of a dream, a future gone sour. For me, the people here were a little more than footnotes for my article. Something to tug at the heartstrings. And when the disappearances started, oh, I was thrilled. This was something big. But now people are afraid, and a communication fault means we're alone. I'm trapped here, just like everybody else. Another footnote. Another victim. I wonder if the bot would be a reference. Could be. Yeah, it's alright, Jet. He knows, I told him. Alright, um... We can keep it civil. He hasn't said anything. Alright, moving slowly. Eh? Okay, now I gotta go under it. Ah, oh, so that's why the vent was there. I thought the vent was there as a mechanism to avoid enemies. It's like, nope, you gotta use the vent. Okay. Wait, it's Ripley. What's going on with the androids? I don't know. What about the change of alert status? Damn it, I don't know. I'm trying to contact Samuels. Maybe he knows what the hell Apollo is playing at. I like how I'm getting yelled at. I'm the one that literally got rid of the alien and I'm the one getting yelled at. F you, man. You've just been sitting there the entire time. because of the harsh turn. Yeah, that's why I'm telling Jet to keep it civil. You asked the question, I gave you an answer. That's perfectly fine. Something just moved.
something's moving like an alien. I don't like it. I see the two things, and then I see something moving like an alien. I hope this is not gas. I mean, I just restored power to the place. I guess I can save and then check it out. But this music makes it weird. I can't actually hear what's going on because of the music. The music is making it impossible to do anything. Why is the music so loud? That might be the point of the music. Shotgun makes no sense. Way too loud. It looked like the alien did stand still Muhammad Ali thing. Sorry if it's confusing. What? I don't understand what that is. Oh, Muhammad Ali before he fights. Probably, but that was the android. He was doing like running on the spot. EMP them. And then hit them physically. Finally! Jesus Christ! What was the point of all that music? It's giving me a headache, man. So I wasted all my bullets to get to this area, and there's basically nothing here. There's legit nothing here. All those bullets wasted. Apparently I'm supposed to be able to get around, but...
Nothing is something. This is just... Like, the game's gotten to the point where I'm just lost because of the map design. It just gave me an empty corridor with nothing in it. After I just killed two androids. Everything burns. So can I pick up your ammo? No. Wait, for God's sake, Apollo's let the androids off the leash. They're attacking on site. I don't know what the hell this is. They're not just responding to trespass violations. It's like they're hunting. For who? For everyone and anyone. What do you mean? Stand by. So what, the police officer is basically cleaning house because he was going to sell this place? And so now that the alien's gone and he's safe, he's just getting rid of all the humans. And gonna blame it on the alien. Like I was wearing armor and running shoes. But he's wearing riot gear. I like how there's like no ammo. The guy has infinite ammo and I kill him and he has one shotgun round. Like who created this game? just for one guy. This is a joke. This game is a joke. It's annoying when player rules don't apply. It's... it's... I, I don't even know. I'm doing, using up all these items and scavenging all these items to take out one guy and then a guy that has infinite shotgun ammo, I kill him and he's got one round. One round. Well, I got my map. It's like Bioshock, but Bioshock you could actually aim properly. <laughs> yeah, we're out of revolver ammo. It's Bioshock, but worse, basically. The thing that I killed, is it, am I even able to use it for the EMP? Because even if I sneak up on these guys and hit them, it does nothing. Need to get some damn 
Oh, you need a password to return to the marshal. So he's right there on the top right. Watch, he's gonna lock me out. He's gonna be the guy that did this. Watch, he activated all these androids. up those things for you. Wait, I've got some security shutters in my way. Can you open them? Wait. You bastards, you murdering bastards. Leave them alone. Stand down. You shouldn't be here. You're becoming hysterical. You bastards. I think he's dead. Find an alternate route. That's been this entire game this entire time. How is that any different? Watch, now one of those things is gonna come inside. It's just gonna open one of these things. One of these shutters is gonna open and an enemy is gonna come inside. I can't open this. Imagine the alien is controlling the robots and watching on its three screen setup. Could be. But the thing is, I can't go this way, so I'm gonna go the other way. Which I hope I can now actually access, but I probably can't. Let me guess, I go upstairs where I previously went. I bloody used it, and he got stunned for like two seconds. And he shot me anyway, so what was the point of using the stun? Nothing. Because by the time I got my weapon out, the stun was gone. The stun grenade is useless in this game. Because it doesn't switch back to your primary weapon after you use it. Like seriously, what the hell, man? I have, the more I use the mechanisms in this game. See, no wonder I wasn't using the items in this game, because they're crap. Just say the word. Eh, it's okay, I'm figuring it out, it looks like, but I have a feeling I go, I go up to where I just was. As soon as I go up there, I reckon the door's gonna be open. Because it had a map up there, but nothing else. Let me guess, this opens now. Wow! That's convenient, isn't it? Such convenience. Convenience story progression, 100%. I mean, 
mean, I get it. It's probably the people that unlocked it, but it's such convenient time. Oh, sleeping pods. Imagine what Revly would do if this was real life. Probably worse than what's happening now, but then again, I only watched two movies, so I haven't seen the third one. But the second one was just such BS. It took me like five seconds to get the stun baton out. It took me five seconds to get the stun baton out after I used it. The 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 weapon switch system is a joke. I mean, I could do it this way, but it's like. Quick switch, my god. You watched what? I checked in while you were watching it, sadly it was at work. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's still on the VOD. It'll be up on Patreon later. Alright, let's see what's here. Like, I was exploring this area for items, I didn't even know if I had to be here. Get a sub to those. Well, unfortunately, if I don't, they get copyright struck and they get taken down. But when it's um, sub only, the copyright companies will never actually pay for a sub. So they can't actually see the video, which means they can't actually copyright claim it. I love technicalities. That's how we get away with doing all the reactions that we do. I love how it's only one piece of ammo at a time. It's never like five. It's always one. Just one. Really? Never a full magazine? Nope. Really? Never? Nope. Just one. We just leave a bullet lying around. It's all dirty and everything on the floor. You can jam your gun. It's like, my god. My god. Imagine I just walk up and it's like a magazine of shotgun shells. That'd just be beautiful. A whole box, actually. A whole box. That'd be nice. Wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> Would be so nice. Is this guy gonna wake up when I get to him? See what I mean? One! <laughs> it's without fail. It's always one. No more, no less. One. That's all you get. Like, oh my god. It's just cruel. It's just cruel. And sometimes you open up one of the item things and there's nothing in there. So... Nuts. Some crazy stuff, man. Mound of the room? I think so. You know, this makes me want to play Cyberpunk because Cyberpunk is first person, but Cyberpunk is like, you know what I mean? Here comes the music again where I can't hear anything. I just want you to suffer. Well, I, I clearly am. Let's see what's in here. Let's see what's in here. Something, at least.
You love this game? Oh, man. Oh, man. Watch, as soon as I do this, something's gonna get me from behind. Even though I didn't open the door yet. Mart, I guess you heard about the decommission by now. What's your plans? I've got some connections that can hook me up at work when we leave. I come promising, but maybe we could find you something. They've started closing down the stores in Gallery. Your place was still boarded up last year. Sorry, you had to lose it. You never seem to catch a break. You're still here from Margaret and the kids. Maybe you should go see them. I'll let me know. Security risk. Uh, we need to find a way to shut down those automated janitors. They're a security problem. Every time they start their cleaning circuits, there's a risk they'll open up a route for that thing that's hunting us. Or at the very least, let looters in. Yup. Intel team population rehoming has been established. I have been camped out in Galleria more for maybe 24 hours. The people here, they're scared. But they still believe that martial ways will kill the creature. They forget other dangers. They forget themselves. People are tuning on each other for food, for water. I cannot stay here. Mm-hmm. Russian lady knows what's up. Alright, here we go. Uh... Have I been here before? I have been here before. I just opened up that room. How the heck am I gonna get there? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I gotta open up the shutters and get back to where I was. <laughs> I gotta open up. No, I went that way. I gotta go all the way around. Or maybe there's a way this way. I did activate a bunch of stuff. If that vent works, that vent will take me right there. But watch, it's gonna say restore power. No, my... His eyes are open. Walking around this guy. You, this is bull crap! This is bull crap! I preemptively hit him! This is scripted bull crap! This is this game in a nutshell! You can do something ahead of time, does nothing! You turn around, it grabs you! Ha ha ha! Jump scare! F off! <laughs> Scripted crap! If this is real life, I'd be beating its head in! I know exactly what song to play during a break. You can't violate the rules. I know what's- I, I know what song I'm gonna play for the break. I know what song I'm gonna play for the break. Look at that! One bullet! One bullet! And sometimes you have to reload the entire magazine to reload one bullet. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna turn around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry, never gonna tell a lie, never gonna turn around and... Wait, does he say desert or hurt you? Damn it! Say, I don't know the full song, but I've been rickrolled enough times. Make it easier for the alien to kill you. Hurt you. I miss the alien. <laughs> the alien at least made sense. You know what? No, I don't miss the alien. Stop talking like that. Don't miss the alien. It's fine. I can deal with this. Bad mechanics I can deal with. Aliens not so much. Watch. I grabbed it. No, I'm going to turn around. What's here? What's here? What's here? What's here that can kill me? Mr. Samurai. Another Samurai. I, I love that this armor is literally like Samurai armor. Like seriously, it's Samurai armor. This is not a spacesuit, this is samurai armor. Explain this to me. Why does it have this plating? I can understand like the helmet and stuff, but why is it samurai armor? 
It makes no sense. What spacesuit has plating like this? None! None! Like, you look at spacesuits, they're just like one piece of thing. Like, what the hell happened here? 3047, what is this, some yuckers' thing? We should talk about what happened in San Cristobal. Now, it was a nasty business, and I understand that you want to deal with it as quietly and quickly as possible. But I wanted to make sure you didn't do anything rash. I'm talking about catching the specimen without killing it. If we play it smart, we could be set up for life. I have the connections. I can set it up. You're getting old, weights, so you can't do this forever. And what are you going to do when Sevastopol closes? You have my number. Ransom out. Cool, so we've been here, so we know where we are. Oh. It's going to make fun clips. Oh, that guy died trying to save. Oh yeah, there's a guy in the cage. Do we let him out? At this point... Wow, the shotgun can only hold four shells at a time. The real question is, is the guy safe? I think the guy might have broken out. Flamethrower was here, but there's no flamethrower ammo. Makes me sad. Yeah, he's out. He's out. Chick is barking at something. See, it's creepy when it doesn't have the music playing at full blast. It just hurts my ears for no reason. It doesn't even scare you, it just impedes you from doing things. I know it wants me to go there, but I want to get all the other stuff before I trigger something. Because everything here is scripted. If I didn't have 500 something limit, I would send the lyrics. I mean, you could send the lyrics in two messages. Should be able to see everything in the room from here. I love how there's just a person sitting there amongst all the dead bodies. It's not at all creepy. Fine, whatever. Lyrics, we're no strangers to you. You know the rules and so do I. A full commitments. What I'm talking about of you. I see, I suck. I suck. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll read through it because during the break when we play the song, but my god, I, I, I butchered that. You're creeping me out, mate. Are you friendly or not? Rip. Rip, they're all dead. The android slaughtered them. Why? Why the fuck? Would... I don't know, but I think Samuels does. Samuels? Why? Wait, sent him to access Apollo. I need to find him. Have you seen Taylor and Marlo? N no. No. They're not here. I think they may have got clear. Ricardo. Ricardo! If I go after Samuels, can you run this place? 
I need eyes and ears. I'm not f***ing staying here. Ricardo, I need you to do this. Can you man the station and keep me covered? Ricardo! Yeah, sure. Of course. Sit tight. Lock the f***ing doors and don't let anyone in. Look after me. I'll come back for you. Love how we just swore a bunch of times. <laughs> Screw your video. I'm about to demonetize you. Alright, you know what? If there was ever a good time for a break, I think it's now. <laughs> I think now is a good time for a break, don't you think? Oh, you remember back in the day where you used to get Rickrolled because they didn't have thumbnails when you post YouTube links? So it'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, here's the secret ending to the game or something and you just get Rickrolled. Like, <laughs> he became a meme. His, his fame is not his music, it's the meme. I mean, like... It's one way to get famous, but I probably feel bad for him because that's like, that's his fame, being a meme. And you look at his other songs, I'm not even joking. His first song is Never Gonna Give You Up. His second song is Together Forever. And the third song is Cry For Help. <laughs> it's just like, whoa. And the rest of his songs get dark, you know? Uh, yeah, like, my god, his songs just get darker and darker. And I take a look at some of the albums and I go, holy shit, he's old. Like, he's an old man now. You look at the first photo and he's like, young, right? He's like, I don't know, like 18, 20, right? And you like to look at his most recent album, it's like, this guy's 50! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, okay. Can't hear what I'm saying. You might have to, like, re-back, but... Yeah, that was fun. And he's still making music? That's... Dude, like... Go for him. If you find... Look, if you can make a career of something that you love... Man, you're, you're winning. Like, you're winning. If you're happy doing what makes you enough money that you can live... You are winning. Because a lot of people do what they don't love to make ends meet. But if you're doing what you love, and you have enough money to live from it, you're winning. You know? It's like, that's all you need. You don't need to be the richest, or the biggest. You just gotta enjoy what you do. And it's a beautiful thing, man. And if that's what he's doing, he's winning. And if he's an internet meme on the side, and he's immortalized, you know, he's a part of internet history, like, that's awesome. There's a lot of people that are, you know? I was just hope he takes it as a positive. I would personally find it funny if I turned into an internet meme for trolling people. I'd be cool with it, but like different people might take it differently. Some people might think this is a very serious song and you're making fun of it. And I could see that from a different point of view. But at the same time, I don't think anyone meant anything by it. I think it was just more as a funny thing rather than an insulting thing, you know? So, I don't know. It depends. Different people take things differently. Uh, okay, so now I gotta go back to where I was. Oh my god. I'm now going back to where I was. It's just... This thing is a giant reach around. No. They're gonna make the whole hide and seek somehow interesting after all. Damn it, I tried to be tactical about this. And these guys can eat a lot of shots. I'm trying to save my good ammunition for when I really need it. I'm really trying hard, but they don't make it easy. I was like, maybe I don't waste an EMP. Yes, that's what I'm talking about.
You know what this reminds me of? Fallout. I played... Require my attention. Follow me, please. No, it does not. That isn't authorized in this facility. You know what's not authorized in this facility? Be an asshole. And it's not stopping you, is it? I like how it has a sensor. It's like, you wouldn't need a sensor for what I'm using it for. By the way, Kuma, is Twitch and YouTube something you can live off, or are you still trying? I remember you said that Let's Play in the past. After the, um, after the whole Logan Paul thing in the Suicide Forest in Japan, it was, it, like, ad revenue's dead. You basically gotta live off sponsorships and, um, uh, like, Patreon and things like that. You can't rely on ad revenue. That being said, I was networking because I go to Twitch partner events and whatnot. And I tried networking with some people and they were kind of like, hmm, we're too good for you. Because they took a look at my Twitch follower list. It was like a couple of thousand people. And they were like, you're small time. I'm like, okay. But they didn't realize that I had YouTube and I had Patreon and all that other stuff. So they thought they were too good for me, you know, to like talk to and play games with and network and all that sort of stuff. But they're like significantly bigger. They stream like six times a week. They have corporate sponsorships from multiple sponsors. You know, they get free computers, they get free tech, free games, free everything. And one of them just tweeted out a couple of days ago, I finally got a full-time job in an industry that I like. And I'm like, so you're streaming full-time every day after work, plus you have a full-time job to make end meet. So you have to basically be huge to live off it. Truth be told, if I'm able to just, you know, pay the electricity bill and the computer and games and that, I'm going to play games anyway, because I enjoy it, right? Anything on top of that is gravy. Honestly. So, yeah. If gaming doesn't cost me anything, I'm winning. If it can pay for the computer and the electricity in the game, I'm winning. Because I'm happy, right? I would want to play the game anyway. I'm actually happy because I have people to discuss them with and stuff, so... This could require my attention. Uh-huh. Up to you, buddy. Your move. Why not ask me about Sebastopol's safety protocols? How's that for a safety protocol? Why do you have ethanol? Bloody alcoholics. But yeah, I mean, if I was focusing solely on money, I wouldn't be doing gaming at all. Because gaming doesn't make money. The gaming channel is basically demonetized, so it's making F all. Videos aren't getting recommended. But what you would have to do is just pretty much do reactions and focus on what's popular, not what you enjoy. And quite frankly, I see a lot of people and they get really big. Even streamers. We're talking over a million followers. And they get depressed. Because they're doing things that make them unhappy. How's that different from a full-time job? If you turn your passion into something you don't enjoy, then what do you do in life to enjoy something? You don't have anything. So they do things like alcohol, drugs, and all this sort of stuff. That's not the way to go. So I'm sort of doing what I enjoy, and I love it. I'm spending time with people that are cool, and I'm enjoying their company. Like, I'm winning. And if that, at one point, ends up paying the bills, sweet. If not, it's cool. I'm having fun anyway. Do people sound like they kind of suck? They do. They do. And it's funny, because I work in corporate. Right? Like, I work in corporate corporate. In a good company, in a good position, with good contacts and stuff. So, if I was cool with them, I wouldn't mind helping them in corporate. You know, like, connecting them with people, helping them get a good job. 
helping them to go share a better salary. But because they act like that, they're not good people. I don't want anything to do with them. I would not want them in my team. I would not want them in the same company because they're assholes. I, I'm sure they're lovely to people that they want something from, but if that's how they treat a random person they just met, you ain't a good person. No, thank you. No, thank you. Take the transit to the tower. I think this is to the tower, right? That's good outlook on life. Hey, man. You gotta enjoy it. You gotta enjoy it. Hmm? All right, I'm in the tower. We're back at the tower. Station serving the San Cristobal Medical Facility and stations. Loud and clear, comrade. Medics, clear. I can see activity on terminals on the top levels of seats and synthetics. Rip, I'm not sure I can do this. Yes, you can. Ricardo, I need you to focus. You're in charge now. In charge? In charge of what? A room full of dead people? This is f***ed up! Focus, Ricardo. If Samuels can talk to Apollo, he can get the androids to stand down. Then this will all be over. How much of one Apollo is the one doing this? You know, there's a lot of people that don't even know how to change a light bulb. I'm not even joking. They literally do not know how to change a light bulb. Uh, reach Apollo and ask it to cancel. The heightened lockdown, locate him there and help him. So where am I supposed to go? Samuel has gone to Sagon Synthetics. Synthetics, alright, the other way. IT specialist? Oh man, IT, you can make money. It's, it's in demand. And everything is tech now. Especially if you get into a role that's not purely technical. If you get something that has some social skills required, you're very hard to replace. Anything that's just 100% a hard skill, you can replace or outsource. Anything that has soft skills, it's hard to outsource or replace. So they will outsource programming and things like that to overseas because it's cheaper, but they can't outsource management or team leads or coaches because they need them local and they need them reliable. So you can make bank in IT. You really can. And strictly speaking, it's not in quotation marks hard work like you sit on a chair man spend spend a week in construction hard work spend a week on a chair drinking coffee not so much you know what i mean you might get stressed out time to time but you'll be all right you'll be all right I'm here for items. If the alien pops out of nowhere, I'm just going to lose it. I'm just going to lose it. I'm going to lose it in ways that I've never lost it before. Because I'm here for items. Give me items. Something in the IT direction. I've also been thinking of going to uni while working at a company that might continue to have me after I'm done. That's a good approach. Earning while you're learning. I mean, IT, uh, sorry, degrees are basically qualifications to get your foot in the door because a lot of companies won't hire someone without a degree. Whether or not you actually use the knowledge from that degree is a different question altogether. As long as it's not too expensive to get the degree. Like here in Australia, you can take a loan from the government, which is just fixed on CPI, which is the inflation percentage, and it goes up by the inflation percentage. So you can basically take like a $40,000 loan, get a degree, uh, and then, you know, use that degree to land yourself a job. And then after you've got the job, you can pretty much pay off the loan. We'll get all the items that are here. You just do that. And then you can get much better jobs because you have a degree, you know? 
It sounds a bit silly, but it's how they do it. I know a lot of places nowadays even hire people without degrees. Oh look, ER power plant. We were here. But there's no alien. So we can get the items. Excuse me. Yoink. This place is gonna blow up. Oh yeah, this place was on fire. Med kit, done. MP mine, done. I want to get the items while I can, so I don't have to deal with them later. Yeah. In Germany, you can just work like two weeks and study two weeks, and the guys at the job pay for the uni fees, while I also earn some extra at the company. Do that. <laughs> if they're paying for your education, and you still get... Do it. Do, there's no downside. You, you're making money while you're getting a degree, which is going to help you make more money. There's no downside. If we had that, I'd do that. Ion Torch upgrade. How many upgrades do you want to give me? If we had that, I would have gone through it. See, the fact that it requires an upgrade means we're going to be here at some point. This is, I think, where we jumped up with the ladder. They collapsed. Yeah, so I have what I have. To add scam while you're sleeping. That's speaking. Oh, I was saying there's no downside to working and getting your degree if they're paying for it. 100% go for it. Get the qualification. Even when you even when you have a full-time job, always get additional training and qualifications. There's no downside. Get more certificates. Get more certifications, which is the same thing. Get like Just get more stuff. It just makes you easier to hire and you can ask for more money. There's no downside. Even I do that now. Like, we have a budget every year um, that we can use for courses, and I always make sure that I use up as much of it to upskill as much as humanly possible. Because what if happens they don't need me anymore, or I need to apply somewhere else? I want to be able to apply. And if I'm applying to a place and they say, we need the certificate, and I already have it, it's like, well, they just save money. And they actually look at that. HR looks at that, because they have a budget for headcount, and they say, we can only spend this much per person. We only have this much that we can spend on so many people. And if you're cheaper to hire and you become and you're pre-trained, they're saving time to use you, which means they don't have to upskill you, and two, they don't have to pay for the upskilling. It's easier to get hired because you differentiate yourself from the other people a lot easier. No downside, man. Go for it. Do it. You'd be crazy not to, actually. Device invalid. So I've got a burner. Oh my god, I can't even jump over the thing. This is embarrassing. I can't jump over the thing. I can't jump over the little desk to access the items. It will try? Yeah. You're doing well. The fact that you're working and you're getting an education, you're in the right direction. You're going in the right direction. Why is the newspaper shoved down that guy's throat? There's a security alert firing off in the labs nearby. Elevators are out. Looks like the seats and synthetics aren't taking kindly to a wailing Utani model snooping around. So how do I get up? You have to climb. There's a service vent through to the elevator shaft around there somewhere. Have to climb, huh? Passcode required. Ah, oh, crack. A three, A two.
I got accepted at uni. I just need to get a partner company. The yes from the uni allows for two years playtime to find a partner company. When applying, you won't always get it the first time. Just don't get discouraged. Just keep applying. Like, I applied for a bunch of places and I didn't get in the first time. And I did a bunch of interviews and I didn't ace the interviews the first time. But you get better at it. And you get experience, so... Watch, this is gonna collapse. Oh no, it didn't collapse. That's cool. So these are all the things the alien was using, huh? I like how she's just like skipping. She's skipping a step every single time. Companion cube. It's about to fall. It's gonna fall. There it goes. <laughs> that doesn't happen in elevators, but anyway. The elevator's basically got two cores. Even if one of them snaps, the other one's not gonna go by itself. I know, I'm so boring. I'm a boring boy. My parents were super mad I didn't get a job within three months of me starting to write applications. I guess they just want the best for you, man. Just keep trying. Why did that open? It wasn't in front of it and it opened. Watch, it's gonna collapse behind me. Bunch of dead people everywhere. Please stay dead. The fact that I can't loot him means he's scripted to grab me. And see, that guy's... Look, that guy's eyes are open. So even if I try to hit this guy... Watch, this guy's gonna grab me. He's 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 gonna grab me. He didn't grab me. He grabbed me! See what I mean? Ridiculous scripted crap! I think you need to shoot them. Yeah, I'm gonna give away my position to everyone in the area. You heard I played Ace Attorney 2? I did. We played it like one or two games ago. One or two games Ricardo, ago. I'm here. Looks like the place synthetics go to die. Except they're not all dead. Pretty sure this one's dead. You missed it? Yeah, it was it was like one or two games ago. It'll get uploaded, but I think the first Ace Attorney needs to get uploaded first. There's a bunch of games that are get uploaded before that one on YouTube. It's because of the damn hack and the fact that I have to edit out everything without a single swear word, which is why I paused the filming time to time to make it easier to edit. But I didn't know that for the older games, so... Oh, I love how this is just like a pile of corpses. Did we just turn it on or off? Is 
Did it upload the old PC because of swear words? Uh, no, all the new ones that I'm uploading to edit, I have to rewatch the whole thing and edit out all the swear words. All the old videos with swear words already got demonetized. I'm not going to re-upload like 500 videos. No way, not enough time. It's absolute chaos, man. Absolute chaos. Got another ID tag. Watch, something's gonna grab me from behind. What happens if I fail three times? Game over. Uh, a hiding spot? The only thing this thing gives me is a hiding spot? What the heck? Maybe we can help you finding them all instead of you needing to watch them all. Well, that's the thing. I paid one person to edit, but... He can only do a, about like 20 hours a month or something. And again, I used up all the um, YouTube revenue and some Patreon revenue to pay for him. So, and that's for Elden Ring and Mass Effect. So he's editing it, which is making my life easier on those two playlists. But there's a lot to edit, which is why I stopped the recordings. So I don't do that anymore. So the new recordings are going to be fine, but I'm still editing out the older Let's Plays. That's going to take a little while. Cyborg freezes everywhere. Turn off? Why am I turning this off? Maybe we can make it free for you though. Well, if someone's able to edit and wants to do it for free, I'd really appreciate it, but I can't expect them to do much for free. Power level too high? The door appears blown. I can't get near it. Well, I turned off two things. So I gotta turn down another one. So there must be a third one somewhere. Find a way through the electrified door. I don't think there's like a shaft or something. Should be an impossibility. Well, if anyone could do it, I'd appreciate it. But so far, all the people that are interested need to be paid in one way or another, and I can only pay so much in a month. So that's why we only got one person so far. This is Seeks and Executive Ransom speaking. I just woke up to find a working Joe in my suite, and when I asked what the hell it was doing, it lunched for me. I had to leave my own apartment. Send your best technicians to Apollo Core and find out what the hell is going on. Now! Get those things under control. I want a full report ASAP. Okay, so I opened that thing. There's nothing in here. I'm gonna have to edit out that swear because, of course, they love to swear. My god, man! Working Joe wanted a piece of that dude? Sounds like it. Okay, so there's nothing here. I've taken down two power units. There must be a third power unit somewhere that i got to take down. Because the power's too high for me to access that thing. So I missed the power unit somewhere. I took this one down. I took the second one down. Where's the third one? Must be in this room somewhere. I mean, the horror element of this game has gone down 
you know, heal. Because, let's face it, the alien's the scary part. These androids and stuff, we've... I mean... We've encountered stuff like this before. Is there one in here? Okay, apart from this, it's the vent. So I can't go beyond the vent. So... Again, I seem to be a little bit stuck because the game's layout and what I have to do is a bit weird. I'm sure Ace Attorney doesn't have any swear words. Shouldn't be hard to edit. Oh, it's not. I edit videos now as I finish the LP. And because there's no swear words, it's easy to edit. It's just that I'm still editing out the previous LPs, which I gotta upload. So those are taking time. So it's created a bit of a bottleneck, which takes time. And working with 4K, it takes a while to edit, and it also takes a long time to export. Because it's a chunky video. See, I'm pretty sure I turned... Ah, oh, here we go. I've got to turn this one off. See? I, I didn't see it because it was dark. Biocontainment has a level. Omega. Oh, F off! I'm sure there's someone here. I'll get to the bottom of this. Apollo will require a detailed report. Explain disturbances are most troubling. There's still something amiss here. See, I dodged them instead of having to deal with them. <coughs> I love how it... I love how it just closes just as I get here. I must have access to Apollo. Open the tower transit immediately. Apollo transit reserved for Sikhs and executives and synthetics only. Right. Then I'll have to find a way to talk to Apollo directly. Biocontainment has a level Omega. All permissions rescinded. I don't have time for this. Are we sure he's not an android? He just overpowered the android, but then again, I am a female, which is sexist. It's 2023. I should have been over able to overpower that android with no effort at all. So I don't know how strong these androids are, but like the point is, you get what I'm trying to say, right? If this game is sexist, then it should be cancelled. I should technically be able to overpower the alien, because why not? Jesus, that was cool. Ripley should have just been a trans female. Would have overpowered the Adro, no problem. <laughs> That's a dangerous assumption. Oh god, of course this room is full of them. Let me guess, as soon as I activate whatever I need to activate, all of them will activate. This game loves doing this. Gonna rain check. Last chance. Showroom appointments. I think his name was Charlie. Could be. I'm not gonna walk down the middle, that's for sure. I ain't walking down the middle of this.
Oh my god, the door's locked. What? Find Samuels. Oh, his name is Samuels. I love how he was there, but we didn't say anything. Because clearly we know something's up. Find a way out of the synthetic showroom. You don't say! I love how I have to go to the door to trigger that. And now I've got to re-explore the room because there might be something somewhere that... Hmm? Watch, now they're all going to activate. Oh, it's that one! I think it was the foreshadow of the trope of turning around and it starts moving. Yeah. This game loves that. It's over it, it overdid it. Every time they're on the floor, you just know it's going to grab you. It has its eyes turned on, but you can't really do anything about it. So it's going to grab you anyway, which means it's not going to be a jump scare. It's just annoying. Yes. Thank you. More than one bullet. It's a classic. It's annoying. Damn right, I'm gonna make a Molotov cocktail. Love how they just give me a med kit. This makes me nervous. This makes me nervous! And clearly, this guy was stockpiling for something. This place is a gold mine. It's got all the supplies in here. Where am I? Sales agreements. Yeah, he's got like all the goodies, yet he still died. What do you mean you shut down access to the elevator? All your guns and supplies mean jack to me when the synthetic that was chasing you is still effing down here. I don't think it's seen me. It stood staring at your old magazines in the blood plant overlook. Get back down here and open this door now. I don't know how many of you are still around to get this, but I've got weapons and supplies that I'm setting up shop outside the synthetic showroom. I'm hoping we'll be safe from the creature up here. Is with me and we're keeping uh, waiting to let up from the fluid plant reception. I still haven't seen Thingo. If you're here with her, let me know. I love how they're using emails too. Why? Why? Why does this exist? This doesn't need to exist if there's no alien. Clearly there's an alien. No! Ah. <sighs> 
Well, I've got EMP mines. There's like two waiting here. And I can't save yet. And there's another Molotov, so I could have like refrained from making it, but... What do you think direction the story will continue on to? I don't know, the alien is somehow going to make it back or there's going to be someone in a med bay that's impregnated and there's going to be another alien. I mean, let's face it, without the alien, there's no horror. But it could be that Samuels is an android. You know, because that seems to be happening in the damn movies. And I don't know. Hey, if they make it through that door, they're going to get burnt alive, so I'm all for it. So much for flamethrower. I had to flame. Oh, yeah, I have to do L2. That's what I get. <laughs> Effort, just let him kill me. I made too many mistakes. I'm just gonna let it kill me. I don't care. I forgot to bring up L2. Just bring up the death counter. Usually get that much if you get an upcoming fight. I mean, I was feeling nervous. You know what I can do? Activate the EMP mine while they're over the flame. So they stand in the fire. Well, is it going to kill him or not? Are they going to die yet? What or what? Oh, F off. This game is just scripted crap. There's not even a real game. There's no engine. It's all scripted. That was a waste of an EMP, by the way. But I'm gonna have to get one of the EMPs in the other room. So he's an unauthorized synthetic, huh? Bloody should be. Wait, so I killed one so I can grab an EMP mine so I can kill one. 
That was a useless trade. He might be half droid, but I don't think he's not human. I don't know. Wait, why did this guy's stuff respawn? Wait, did all this stuff respawn after I saved the game? Can I abuse this? I would love to abuse the respawning mechanic. Components, then I can pick up more components. Cool. So now I can pick up all the components again. And medkit maxed out, but I'm okay. I've only taken a little bit of damage. So I can come back here for the medkit later. Cool. And I can use that save. Cool. Alright, let's find out what's going on. It would be weird if he's like talking to Apollo and telling them to kill us. He could be uh, owned by the company and his mission is to get the alien specimen alive. So he's trying to recover the alien specimen by bringing it back on board the ship. That's possible. Which would be incredibly stupid. But you know what? Humans in a nutshell are incredibly stupid. Yeah, so nothing to do here. We just gotta follow him. Let's see what goes on. Apollo, what are our chances of survival? Not much. Android orientation? I just imagine much of androids sitting on chairs being given a PowerPoint presentation by some old guy. What kind of flag? That's the Serbian flag, yes. Hey, we can test if he's an android. Just <laughs> Jack Daniels. Uh, we could just put a put a um, uh, what's it called? An EMP grenade around him. If something happens, he's not human. Wait, we're we back here again. Malfunctioning. Great. What was that, Ripley? Nothing. Just more shit on the station. <laughs> the usual. I love how we're not going to mention to him how we just took out an android. Like, we're talking to him, but we're just ignoring that he was there. Why don't we ask him for help? Ah, plot of the game. i got to do it myself. He can't come back for us or anything, right? Uh. Only Kazakhstan? <laughs> like Borat. I like it. So what am I supposed to do? Can't jump down. Oh, Kazakhstan, greatest country in the world. All other countries run by little girls. Power failure. There must be something. So wait, I go back to where I was to fix the power failure. Oh my god. Did you write down Ripley swearing? I stopped the video. I made a note and I restarted it. That way I know exactly where it is. Makes it easier. That's why I do pauses every, like, swear. Okay. Can I redo the power? Find Samuels. So I can't do anything with power. What about this one? We have registered mu uh, movement. Okay, I think I'm stuck. Again. <laughs> I'm stuck again. Looking around trying to figure out what I'm supposed to fix. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Please help. Nah, 
nothing here. D there's something I gotta do to fix this thing. Alright, what's the mission? Find Samuels and see Segson Synthetics. Samuel has gone to Segson Synthetics in order to reach Apollo and ask it to cancel the heightened lockdown. Locate him. Can I like jump down? Oh, climb up. Oh, okay. Sorry, my bad. We'll just do this. My bad. Oh, we were here before. We're just on the roof of where we were last time. I'm gonna make sure I don't get hit by flames. Sorry, I figured it out. It was just not very obvious. The game's doing a Metal Gear Solid 2. We go on this thing? How did you fall down? Uh, the balance, uh, it's very bad. Well, I was stuck. And when I'm stuck and I'm asking for help, it's not exactly a spoiler now, is it? Yeah, why ask the other guy for help that I'm on the radio with? I mean, the rest of the way should be clear, right? He just took out the other android? Should be clear. Should. We've got a situation. There's white on red casualties on station. I've just had an end. I love how it's white on red. You racist. Droid report to the APTC with head trauma. But he's covered in blood. Human blood. I've alerted the marshals, put my secretary someplace safe, and right now I'm headed for the transit. I'm gonna get a working Joe to consult Apollo. Maybe it knows who to blame for this. So you made a working joke consult Apollo, and then Apollo decided to kill all humans. We can see where this is going, don't we? Hey, working joke, one of your brethren has killed humans. It's like, oh no. Of course. Not in the mood, working Joe. Maybe I can use the EMPs for more than one working Joe. Shotgun would not miss like that. Even if I was slightly off, the buckshot would just hit him. I love how this game doesn't understand guns. Oh, if you're close enough, it's one shot. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> you can make your Joe Mama jokes with their names. So if you're close enough, it's one shot. Okay. 
You know what? I'm going to get nice and close now. You want this? You want this? You don't want this. Alien wants it. No, I don't want it. Go away. <laughs> no more. Please, the aliens just like slowed down my progress enough. At least like this I can just take these guys out. Speaking of, how uh, how we doing on progression? Hmm? Hey look, it's a martial alien. Sorry, Marshall Joe. I love how you just disabled the camera feed on this thing. And I love how sometimes where you want to hide has a padlock. I just saw him twitch. Ah, get it, twitch. Almost two thirds, awesome. Two thirds is good. Oh, hi, Ogozemas! Oh, Yasumi Nasai! Really? This game is a joke. sees me and I don't think he cares Ripley good to see you alive Apollo security perimeter has been built so that only Sikhs and synthetics can interact with it Listen to me. I'm going to have to do something rather drastic if I hope to connect with Apollo what are you gonna do Am I getting close to him or not? I love how there's a save. Where'd he go? Samuels, that's too dangerous. Yes, far too dangerous. Wish me luck. Samuels, don't! What's he doing? Well, we got front row seats. Warning, Apollo connection initiated. Apollo, infection has been 
purge. The creature is no longer on board. The station is safe. Request that all hazard containment operations are suspended. Alert. Unauthorized connection. Ripley, Apollo's rejecting me. We might be in trouble. Samuels? Apollo is trying to stop me from interfacing. Oh no! Amanda! You need to manually disconnect the system. Please! Jesus, Samuels, I'll try! Wait! You need to do it in the correct order, or the cascade will be fatal for me. I'm accessing Zeke's schematics. Remove the red cable first. Okay, red first! Clearly I wasn't quick enough. Red first. And the panel next Samuels, to it. That's too dangerous. Yes, far too dangerous. Wish me luck. Samuels, don't! Red, 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 is this the red one, blue one, yellow one, oh that was the yellow one, so I did the wrong one, no I'm not asking for help yet, give me a sec, I think this is the panel. I don't know, I'll risk it. This was blue. So basically clockwise, do it clockwise, literally clockwise, clockwise, you made it clockwise. Whatever. Samuel. 
you dying? You talk like I've had an actual life. I thank you for that. Samuels. The uh, Apollo transit is open. Once you get into the core, it will talk to you. You did that for me? I wanted Amanda Ripley to have closure. Huh, it was an android. Can I get in now? Ricardo, if you're there, pick up. I'm here. I'm here. Sorry. Samuels is gone. Shit. He opened Apollo Transit for me. I'm gonna go straight there. I'll get Apollo to lift the lockdown. Take the private thing to Apollo Court. Of course, I gotta go all the way back. Now watch, I'm gonna get ambushed. No, I can't go this way. I hope this section's quick, cause we're at four hours. So let's just hope it's quick. Feeling there's gonna be a bunch of androids everywhere. I want to get to like the Apollo thing, and then I have closure. What the heck is in here? Oh, ID, an injector. Cool. That was something else. Bonding agent. Cool. I'm just gonna make it past all those androids. The other ones are gonna activate now, aren't they? What? There was a door this way? Oh my god, I did a loop for no reason. Did I just do a loop for no reason? Well, I'm gonna save the game in that case. I got items. If I see the alien, I'm just gonna be like, what the hell are you doing here? Like the alien is just like, uh oh. I'm like, what? I'm like, I wasn't supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be somewhere else. Why? Scripted event. Oh. <laughs> Can we just pretend you didn't see me? I'm like, I mean, sure. I'd like to avoid using my ammunition. I'm heading in some direction. I don't know whether or not it's the right one, but... Apollo is reporting a good service throughout Sebastopol. What an alien are you talking about? <laughs> I love how Canadians say about. Okay, I think I'm heading the right direction. Hello, good sir. Any items for me? Nope.
I just slaughtered a bunch of these guys. Let's see if Apollo talks to us. Apollo's probably gonna be a jerk and be like, No! I don't care. But everyone's alive. No! I don't care! Is that considered grave robbing since there should be no graves? I honestly don't know. Is this gonna take me to Apollo? Take the private transit to Apollo's core. Is this the private transit to Apollo's core? No, just a supply room. Oh, there's a noisemaker. Why is there a noisemaker? They were expecting me to use the noisemaker to make it past this? I haven't even used the noisemaker. Ah yes, the transit, the vent. Indeed. Um, I'm guessing I have to go down a level. Wait, but can't I just jump down? No, you have to go all the way around and then climb all the way down and all that stuff. It's like, that's just ridiculous. Can I just wait for a few moments to save? I think it's on a timer. I legit think it's on a timer. Because I want to save the game in case I die. Because the next save's like on the other side of the facility. There you go. See, it's on a timer. Love how it's just on a timer. It's like, no, you saved 30 seconds ago. I like how our Android was better than the working Joe's. I mean, I'd certainly hope so, but yeah. Rip, I just found something here. An interview tape. You need to hear it. Play it, Ricardo. You're Ronan, right? Yeah. I'm Taylor. Sector exec Gwen and Yutani. Guns now, huh? Not some girl with abandonment issues. Leave Ripley out of this. She's just looking for closure. I'm looking after where the Teutonic interests. And I'm looking to get out of the town. Maybe. This is being recorded. You understand? I saw it. Red lights on. I want data. The location of the planetoid where you found the derelict. All data you have on the origin of that organism. I can give you that. And a way off this station. You just have to let me out. I can probably agree to those terms. What the Taylor! Taylor, get me out of this cell right now! Get me out! Samuels has gone to the... <laughs> He's dead! He's dead, damn it! Do I have to go all the way around or can I just jump down? Can I jump down? I can't just jump down, can I? Watch, Apollo's gonna tell me that the egg takes priority. We, we just survived one of these things and they want to get more. Like, F you. F you. F you with a capital F. Humanity's gonna wipe itself out. Like, don't blame- You know what? You can't blame the alien. The alien's just trying to- The alien's just doing what an alien does, right? It's the humans that are going out of their way to get the alien next to them. I don't blame the alien for being an alien. Like, if I just kidnapped the tiger from, you know, the Sahara, I, I wouldn't be complaining that it's killing people. Well, you just kidnapped an alien. What'd you expect was gonna happen? Oh, we thought it would be friendly. 
Okay, get me a wild animal, put it in an enclosed space that it's unfamiliar with. Huh? Yeah, exactly. It's acting up. W what do you think was gonna happen? So where am I supposed to go? Yes, hi chan. What? What happened? It's still smell the chemical. Yeah, I know, because we have to take a shower to wipe the chemical. Anyway, I'm still playing. Yeah, I see you're cuddling her like a baby. You wanna show that here? Hi chan, come here. Yeah. Show, show show them, show them, show them, come here. No, I don't. Oh my god. She's holding Cheeky like a baby. And she's putting her on the floor. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. She was holding Cheeky like a baby. And Chiki likes it. Chiki was like on her back like this. And Nacho was just holding her like a baby. Chiki loves it. She used to not like it, but now she's like, you know what? This is pretty nice. Get to the Apollo core! Oh, God. I just hope I can just do whatever the Apollo core thing is, and that's it for today, and we continue next time. I need a little bit of closure. Gain direct access. Oh my god. It will at least talk to you. Once you're inside. Once you're inside. Yeah, this is like a whole section on its own. Now I have to find access, gain access, get in there, turn it on or some crap. There's always crap. I think you should stop soon because there'll be a lot of things. But you told me the next section isn't long. Is this what you were talking about? I've come over to Apollo to find out what sent the synthetics crazy. This place has gone to hell. Apollo's redirected core android duties, and they've just walked away from the maintenance we requested after we got the news. Coolants everywhere, gas has escaped, and the primary access lift has shut itself down. I flagged the help request, but apparently I'm 45th in line. Systems are suddenly obsessed with hazard containment. I'm gonna find a way down. Spreading out. No, oh, so this is the new section. Okay, let's see if I can save somewhere. If not, I'll go to the previous section. Think of your fellow passengers. Take your trash with you. Is there a save? There's no save. Dang it. I mean, I can just go to the previous area and save. Our team of humans and synthetics That's what I did. You for your continued use I'm gonna go to the next save transit. point. It's gonna beep, isn't it? Firearms detected. You've got to be shitting me. Place firearms on security detection. You want me to take away my firearms? F off. Jason and Apollo, thank you. I'll bet. No! This is a violation of my human rights. The wing's blocked off. The schematics they use for the Sevastopol sales tour should be nearby. See if there's a back door. Sweet. 
So, when do I get my weapons back? That's the neat thing. You don't. Oh, you son of a... Okay, let's see. There is a power conduit that links to the Apollo core. I can use that. <laughs> Turn off the electrics, take some deep breaths, squeeze. Easy. I'm not coming up there to pull you out if you get stuck. That took longer than it should. Hardly not to a life conduit is gonna hurt though, right? I'll have to power it down first. We'll continue next week. That last part took longer than it should. Oh god. At least we're done with a frickin' alien. But watch. The other person's gonna get the frickin' alien. The other person was- the other person's- I'm gonna edit that part out. Just like I edited out the first section when I had to find- Remember at the beginning of the game? Where I had to find a way to open the room? And because I checked that particular thing before I triggered the conversation, I had to check it again and there'll be another option. That's nuts, isn't it? So I checked it, it's not there. You trigger a conversation and then it's there. It's like... There's, there's serious polishing problems with this game. Overall, it's a good game. From a survival horror standpoint, scary and the alien does its job. But the other elements of the game are not polished. And you would think when it comes to survival horror, you would want the interactions with the environment to be polished. Because the last thing you want to do is to die to the alien because the A button didn't appear to interact with the door. It's kind of... yeah. But what can you do? Alright guys, we're gonna continue next week. We're like 40 minutes over time, but it is what it is. I've gotten this section done. We'll continue next week. We'll probably watch Alien 3 on Wednesday. I mean, I'm hoping that Alien 3 is better than Alien 2, because Alien 2 was a bit of a letdown. They turned that into an action movie, and I'm sorry to say it, but when I think of Alien 1, which I watched two weeks prior, the fact that there was no action is what made it amazing. It was horror. It was psychological horror. There's something here, you don't know where, and you're trying to survive. Versus, like, you have 12 people that are pretending to be Marines doing stupid things. And it's kind of, like, funny, because they're doing non-Marine things, you know? And it's just like, what the hell is this? You know? Um, but, yeah, I don't know. That's just me. I think they had to add some action in because they had two dozen aliens in there, so they had to somehow even the odds. But I genuinely hope Alien 3 just goes right back to the horror. Go back to the horror. One alien is enough if you know what to do with it, you know? So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. But other than that, Jujutsu Kaisen is always solid. And then more Alien on the weekend. And then we've got Anime Monday, which we're actually watching tomorrow, which is going to be cool. Kaguya Sama and Naruto Shippuden memes. So I hope to see you guys there. Oh, F off! Why? Don't make noise! Stop making noise! Okay, it is blind. <laughs> 